everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is this. I was kind of two things. I did do my hair in the big roller and showed what it looks like when I when it's up and then I take it down and then just kind of run a curling iron through or flat iron through the ends a little bit, put some kind of finishing cream on it. Um, and you can kind of see how it looks like. This is third day hair. So it is not as finished and polished looking as when it's first day hair, but I thought I would show it anyway what it looks like to sleep on the big roller and to take it down. Uh, so the main thing is though, I wanted to do a video on this eyeshadow palette, the Love Fest. I don't know why I love calling it. It's like the Love Boat. It's the Love Fest. It's by Huda Beauty. And here's what she looks like. It's beautiful. And I did swatch it. And I had this broad idea. It didn't turn out as well as I thought when I looked at the pictures. But I realized I've got seven grandchildren with seven different skin tones. So I chose three of them. Uh, number one has the darkest skin tone. Grand, grandchild number one has the darkest uh, skin tone. So I did hers. Then uh, grandchild, granddaughter number two has the, a medium skin tone. And granddaughter number five has the lightest skin tone. But uh, I took them in different lights. So one of them that actually has a darker skin tone than the other two actually looks a little bit lighter because of the different lighting. But I'm still learning. If I do this again and swatch on their arms, um, I will make sure that I take it all in the same sunlight. I had to do it in different places when I could catch them. So I'll do it when we're all together next time under the same light. Then you can actually see what it looks like on different skin tones. And they were actually tickled. They liked having the swatches on them and looking at the eyeshadow and stuff. So they didn't mind a bit and their parents didn't mind. So it's just their arms. So anyway, I will show that right now. So that's what the colors look like, but I love this palette. You know, it's got these real sparkly shades, and in my video, I put all three of them on, and I pack them on all over my lid. I did my lid first, packed all this on, it, and then, you know, did the transition and in the crease and in the outer corner, but I mainly concentrated on the lid so you could really see how sparkly or wearable they are. And I tell you, I'm going to check out more of her palettes because this is about the best palette I've ever worked with. I love um, Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. I love, there's just several others that I really like their eyeshadow palettes. But I believe this is about the best I have ever used. I think it's easier to work with than Urban Decay. Now, I might not like their colors as well. But I'm going to check out more of the Huda eyeshadow palettes because they're a dream to work with. No fallout. No fallout whatsoever. I cannot believe that. It was it was just amazing to work with. So I am actually going to show this look and then I'll take my hair down from the big roller and I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all like it a lot because this is this is a great palette.
is the finished look and this is third day hair so So thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and that you are having a blessed Labor Day weekend, those that celebrate. And uh, I just appreciate everybody so much. Love you all and take care. And thanks again. Bye-bye.